Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm here for Leisure Hours Start to Finish Part 2. And I have had this on here for like four or five days now. Um, it could have come off the day after, but I just didn't have time to do a video. So I'm going to work on this right now. We're going to take this apart I gotta untie this somehow okay it's coming tied it in a knot <laughs> okay Okay, I'm just going to unwind this. Woo! Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Oops, I bumped the camera. Sorry about that. And there we go. Put this aside. Okay. This was the original one. And this is the new one. So, nice and curved. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to put it in in here and I'm going to slip it underneath these and um, center it in here and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac so I'm going to put it all over the back because this is going to be in here permanently so how's everybody doing? I, if you saw my Try Something New Tuesday, I've been cleaning. So now, you know, every, every couple of weeks you got to do it, you know. So hopefully, um, I'm going to slip this up in here. and into here okay get it centered all right now this is going to keep my curve here but i need to let that dry so i need to because it's you know won't even stick really well um get my text block and i'm putting a piece of parchment paper in here because i don't want if any glue comes out i don't want it to stick in there and i'm going to get this into where i want that to be if you can see this it's way it's all the way in there and now i'm going to put this aside and let it dry and then I'll be putting this over it but I need to let that dry in there first so the next step once I get this finished is to do the signatures so I'm going to show you kind of what my thought processes are First of all, I have a bin of book pages prep not used. And I always look in here to see if there's anything like these would work. They're like perfect size for that. And I didn't use these. I do need to um, reinforce them. These are old ledger papers that I had cut off and then I ended up not using. 
for something. This is something that I had prepped and then didn't use. I think I'll probably put that in. I have some of these. This is from my directory from Sheboygan, Wisconsin from the year I was born. Found my parents in there. Not gonna use that. I'm just kind of going through if they're the right size or like these are real tall and skinny and I not use that. This I could use. This one's cut off too short. These are too skinny. Might put that in. These are just some papers. I'm keeping it neutrals this time. So whenever I, I, I tend to um, to always pull too much or I, I start out ambitious and I say I'm going to do nine signatures and then I have to go down to seven. So I'm going to be a little more realistic. I'm going to say I'm going to do seven to begin with anyway. And these are all for my Christmas journal that I'll do a new one of this year. That might work. Okay. I always check there first to see if there's anything that I can use that I had already pulled out. And then I have a box that has um, my coffee dyed paper in it. And I'm going to be pulling out. And these are actually a little short. So I, I'm going to use them, but I'm, they're going to be a little shorter because it's, it's this folded in half is five and a half. Eleven and a half. Yeah. About five and a half. Three. One, two, three, four. That one might work. Five, six. And these are from a, a book. I believe it's Japanese, but be Chinese. Can't remember. <laughs> and let's see. Maybe there will be a Trix Potter. Um, this might work. Um, they're a little bigger, so it might fit better. Okay, now that goes in here. That might work. Now these are some. This was like a newsprint thing and it had gotten wet and my husband was gonna throw it away and I said, oh no, I, I will use that. So these are some pages I could use. Now I know I'm not gonna use all of these, but I'm just kind of pulling, pulling out things that would be usable. I probably have enough of that. This is an old piece of wallpaper. Um, if 
possible, 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 and possible. I also pulled out, there's some more music. I wouldn't use it all. This is some like mulberry paper. I pulled out an envelope that I'm going to use. I have to see if I can steam it open. There's another. This is a map page. Now these are some um, Ecodite. That's an Ecodite paper. These are just some other ones. Now these are some scrap of paper that I had left over and this would be six inches cut in half so that might work to do like an anchor page. I think these are, I would save these for a floral journal. They're kind of heavy too. Okay, so if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven signatures, those can be anchor pages, which may or may not stay in the front, in the middle. That's an interesting one. This is something I coffee dyed. And a possibility. So I think I have enough of that type of thing pulled out. And then I pulled out some books that I thought I might be able to pull some pages out of. And um, so I'm going to, I've got a whole stack over here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So again, I will end up probably having more than I need. That this is a um, like was a where you could order books about Victorian stuff. Oh, there's Popeye. And a couple of them. These are pages that are just one, one sheet. Maybe uh, that would work for ephemera. I'll put those aside. This is a periodical that was from 1912. And paper is actually not too bad considering and it was put together with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. So I'll take that out and uh, see if I can find a page or so that I can use. that is but it says mummy an unobjectionable party whose motives are not questioned one who is not in business for his health anyone who does not advertise I don't know what that is trouble a hallucination that affords a sweet satisfaction to the possessor any interesting topic of conversation a plan of nature whereby a person is diverted from the humiliation of seeing himself as others see him and then there was a subscription advertisement in there. Let's see. The beginning and the end have... Ah, this one wasn't cut apart. So do you think the person read it who had this subscription?
I think there were some other ones that weren't apart too. Yeah. I think what I'll do is I'll just take the one I have out and I'll put this aside and if I want need more I'll do it. This is Masters in Art from March 1904 and it has staples. See if I can find my excuse me, my staple remover. Okay, got one out. So these are oh. I'm not sure which of these which what what would fit but I love how they're they're coming apart. This one's a single sheet, but he always used himself <laughs> in his drawings. Now that one in the corner. And then we have about him. take that and I will put the rest of these away and let's go back and get more this is Satan Turkish it's from 1958 let's see if I can find the middle of a signature I know there's Sometimes when I have this, I use my staple remover to pull that up so I can cut that without it um, ripping or... This is an interesting binding. It's done with like a running stitch. But the ones where you're going to go down and back up again are small. Nope, I don't think I got them all. Did I get them? Yeah, I did. Okay. So it should come out. A couple of pages. A couple of just a little fun things to put in. All right, here's Rumfold's complete cookbook. I thought, well, look at, this is so great. I got this. Um, I need to find... the middle of a signature. I have my contacts in, I can't see that well. Uh, 
this looks like the end of one. I can't wait till I get my my regular prescription. Alright. This has that same kind of binding. It's like there's four threads that are in here. But you can tell they use like a running stitch. You might have to try that sometime. Experiment. Um, glued. I'm gonna find another. Look at all these, all these stains on here where where they and some somebody <laughs> little kid drew in it. Ooh, look at that. Until they made something on that page. Yeah, this is it. Oh, oh. Not it. Here it is. So forgetting to talk. I get concentrating. Maybe you don't need to hear me talk yakking all the time, but let's see. We are going to go up to Wisconsin in the fall. Talk to my brother up there. I'm going to go visit him. I have a couple sisters still there. I'm going, going to go visit. Did I miss a thread? Yep, I did. There's two of them and I only went under one. find some of those that have all that good stuff on. <gasps> Couple of those. Don't have to use them all. Alright. Um, I thought poetry. Some poetry might be good in here. See, I'm not gutting these because these are my cut-up books. But what I do is I look for the center of a signature. And here, I'll get some threads again. It. 
Oh, look at this. You can see the blue marks where they marked where, you, where the sewing had to go. Or where the holes had to go. That's cool. Another one. So, poems that tell a story. a little bit of glue in there kind of to hold the threads in I think I should look what what year this book is from these threads are really falling apart Nineteen forty seven. So not even that old. Sometimes the older ones are actually nicer. Paper, nicer paper, nicer threads. This is a daily arithmetic book. That I had it had oh my gosh, these were this was a bear. It was a, a bear to take apart. It had staples and threads that went through this direction. And then staples and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But I think um, it might be fun to put a couple of things in there. i got to find some that are not ripping apart. Put a couple of them in. These are like a perfect size. Oh, here's the camera club. Okay. Okay, now this is one of the Russian books that learn Russian or about Russia. That I got at the state sale. Ah, here we go. This was uh, a college textbook. The guy was a history teacher, professor actually at a university, and he um, got the books on Turkey and the Russian books and things from him, from his estate sale. Well, 
I'll just do it like that. And I can always find more if I need them. Um, there's quilt making and collecting. All in black and white, so that should work. have a lot of pages in in the signature. going to need reading glasses and I had some reading glasses from before when I had contacts but they're not they're not exactly the right thing with these but I can't worry about what I'm going to do with them until until I get the um the right prescription and then find out what I need oh you know what? I'm going to, you're getting the drift. I'm going to go through the rest of these books. I have a physics book. I have Greg Writer Magazine, Speedball Test book. Um, I have some of these. This, this is a, a facsimile. I thought some of these pages that are you know, like doubled like that would be good. It's a facsimile of, um, of a type foundry um, kind of like a catalog for type that I bought at the Hamilton Museum up in Two Rivers Wisconsin and it has all the stuff that you could you could buy um, the the things for the the type and that type of thing for so I'm gonna put a few of those in so that's what I'm gonna do and I think I've been long enough. It's 33 minutes. I'm going to stop. And when I come back, you're going to see some of these things cut down to size. I can show you how I do that for a couple of them. But I don't think I need to do that for all of them. And I will be putting my signatures together. And by then, the, um, the spine will be dry. And I can glue in that, that fabric to strengthen it up. And then we'll we'll start getting that rest of that stuff ready. So thanks for being with me. This is a step-by-step -step process, so that's why I'm doing everything on camera. So thanks for being here. I'm happy just that you were. And uh, do something today that you love to do. This is Carol saying bye.